Okay, so my dear learners na hindi nakasali sa sa virtual class kanina, this is for you. So, uh, ang social doctrine is under the social ethics or social morals. And there are three ways to to present it. First is the Ten Commandments. Second, social doctrine of the church. And third is the virtue of justice. So, I prefer to present it using the Ten Commandments or the Compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. So, pag-aralan natin ang uh, the human community. And then sa Ten Commandments, pag-aralan natin ang Fifth Commandment, Do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, and number 10, do not covet your neighbor's possessions. So, ngayon, pas pasok tayo sa human community kasi yan ang, ang social doc, the social as life of man. So, the person in society, yan ang first part dito. Second, participation in social life. Yan, and then social justice. So, the person in society, yan, no, ang tao, kailangan niyang lipunan. Uh, hindi pwedeng mabuhay ang tao na walang lipunan. So, in what does the social dimension of man consist? So, ginagawa ko ito para makapaghanda kayo sa sa exam, sa quiz, sa Friday. Together with the personal call to beatitude, lahat tayo tinawag ng Diyos personally, na makapasok sa langit, sa happiness, the human person has communal dimension. Merong uh, communal social dimension ng tao. Man is a social being. No man is an island. Sabi nga ng kantang pananagutan, walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. At itong communal dimension ng tao is essential component of his nature and vocation. Yeah? So, importante yan sa kanyang nature, ang magiging social, social being and vocation ng tao. Indeed, all are called to the same end. God Himself, lahat tayo itinawag para sa Diyos. There is a certain resemblance between the communion of the divine persons and the fraternity that people are to establish among themselves in truth and love. No, ang Diyos nga mismo ay hindi nag-iisa. Ang Diyos ay isang relasyon. Mayroong social dimension, communal dimension ang Diyos. Oh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, one God in three divine persons. Love of neighbor is inseparable from love for God. So, hindi mo pwedeng paghiwalayin ang pagmamahal sa kapwa at sa pagmamahal mo sa Diyos. No? Father, paano ko ba malalaman kung paano ko kamahal ang aking kapwa? Ang aking, ang, ang Diyos, ay eh kung paano mo minamahal ang iyong kapwa. What is the relationship between the person and society? Kung ang social dimension ng tao uh, ay may social dimension. So, the human person is and ought to be the principle, the subject, and the end of all social institutions. Importante ang prinsipyo, principle, subject, and the end of all social institutions. Ang lipunan ay para sa tao, hindi ang tao ay para sa lipunan. Certain societies such as the family and the civic community are necessary for the human person. Just imagine, mabuhay ka na walang pamilya. No? Ang pamilya ay para sa tao. And the civic community, the barangay, the municipality, yan ay para sa tao. Also helpful are other associations, association ng mga widows, association ng mga farmers, may mga cooperatives, no, importante yan on the national and international levels with due respect for the principle of subsidiarity. Yan ang importante. Number one na prinsipyo. Principle of subsidiarity. And what is the principle of subsidiarity? The principle of subsidiarity states that a community of higher order should not assume the task belonging to a community of a lower order and deprive it of its authority. Ibig sabihin ng subsidiarity, uh, yung community of higher order, for example, barangay, should not assume the task belong to community of lower order. Yan ay yung family. Family is the basic unit of society. So, yan ang pinaka-lowest sa mga communities. So, wagi assume ng barangay ang task ng family. Ano bang task ng family? That is to uh, educate the children, no? hindi pwede na si barangay captain ang pupunta para mag-educate 
sa mga anak, no? Okay, at i-deprive niya siya na magiging tatay. Okay? Of its authority. Anong gagawin ng barangay captain? It should rather support it in case of need. Oh, kap tulungan nak ma'am ta maregatan nak met una yen ngagpaadal kadagiti anak ko, no? So it should rather support it in case of need. What else is required for authentic human society? Authentic human society requires respect for justice, number one. Pangalawa, a just hierarchy of values. Okay. And number three, the subordination of material and instinctual dimensions to interior and spiritual ones. Mas importante ang interior and spiritual, one, spiritual ones na mga values kaysa sa mga material and instinctual values. In particular, where sin has perverted the social climate, it is necessary to call for the conversion of hearts. Kung masyadong nang malaswa, masyadong nang makasalanan, masyadong nang maraming gumagawa ng, ng, ng masama sa isang uh, community, sa barangay, na pervert na ito ng kasalanan, kailangan ng call for conversion of hearts. And for the grace of God to obtain social change that that they may that may really serve its person and the whole person charity which requires and makes possible the practice of justice is the greatest social commandment so yan lalabas yan sa quiz which is the greatest social commandment charity now which requires and makes possible kailangan ang charity hindi pwedeng pure charity kailangan ng justice no? it requires it and it makes possible rin ang justice dahil sa charity Second part, participation in social life. Paano ba tayo mag-participate sa social life? What is the foundation of the authority of society? So, ano bang pundasyon ng authority sa society? Every human community needs a legitimate authority. Kailangan may authority. Legitimate. Paano ba nagiging legitimate ang isang authority? Kung ito ay minoto ng mga tao. Majority wins no? sa election. At itong legitimate authority na ito that preserves order. Siya yung magpreserve ng order kaayusan and contributes to the realization of the common good. No, itong legitimate authority na ito ay nagko-contribute para ma-realize ang common good. The foundation of such authority lies in human nature because it corresponds to the order established by God. When is authority exercised in a legitimate way? Kailan ba na-exercise ang authority in a legitimate way? Authority is exercised legitimately when it acts for the common good. No? Kung para sa kabutihan na kakarami, okay yan, legitimate yan. And employs morally licit means to attain it. Yung minikay kong halimbawa sa mga kaklase niyo sa virtual class is, for example, ang gusto ng barangay captain ay magkaroon ng lahat free wifi sa buong barangay Danaili, for example. Na wow, napakaganda sana, no? Ang sarap mag-aral pag ganun, no? Okay? Pero yung uh, paano siya nagkaroon nagpa nagpa tayo ng tower, ng free wifi ay nagnakaw siya sa bangko, nagtinda siya ng mga drugs, no? Marami siyang pinatay, no? So yan ang immoral, illicit means to attain it. Pero kapag ang ginawa ng barangay captain ay no, may konting pondo, may mga generous sponsors, may contribution ng bawat na mga tao sa barangay, ay yan ang legitimate no, uh, means of achieving that no, para makapag-aral ng mabuti ang mga tao. Therefore, political regimes must be determined by the free, free decision of their citizens. No? Yan ang democracy. No, yung tao ang pumili, ang bumoto para sa mga, uh, mga political regimes. They should respect the principle of the rule of law in which the law and not the arbitrary will of some is sovereign. So, ang nananaig ay batas, hindi yung, uh, yung anong gusto lang ng, ng isang tao. And just laws and measures contrary to the moral order are not binding in conscience. No, hindi siya binding yung mga unjust laws and measures. For example, ang just laws ay divorce. No? Kasi nga, yeah? and then uh, mga measures. Okay, ang same-sex same marriage. No? Hindi yung binding in conscience. What is the common good? Ito ang pangalawang prinsipyo. Unang prinsipyo yung subsidiarity. Ito naman, common good. 
by the common good is meant the sum total of those conditions of social life which allow people as groups and as individuals to reach their proper fulfillment. So, yan ibig sabihin ng common good. Sum total, parang 1 plus 1 plus 10 plus 5, no? sum total ng mga kondisyon ng social life na no, i-allow ang mga tao, pamilya at mga individual na ma-reach nila ang proper fulfillment nila. For example, kayo, gusto nyo makapagtapos ng college para magkaroon ng trabaho. So, ang common good ay merong uh, may free education, free tertiary education, no? and, and others no? para sa proper fulfillment. What is involved in the common good? The common good involves first respect for and promotion of the fundamental rights of the person. Ano bang karapatan ng mga tao? Right to life, right to form a family, right to have education, and right to choose one's own religion. Second, the development of the spiritual and temporal goods of persons and society. Kapag yung common good ay meron tayong uh, mas bumabait tayo, magkaroon tayong mga values, maka-Diyos, maka-tao, makabayan, makalikasan ng mga values at mga temporal goods, yung mayaman tayo, maangat tayo sa buhay ng lipunan at ng mga tao, yan ang in-involve sa common good. At pangatlo, peace and security of all. Kung may kapayapaan, hindi na, walang common good kung lagi may digmaan at may security, walang nanakawan, walang nakaw, walang pagnanakaw, walang patayan, walang pagre-rape. No? Mayroong common good kapag na-avoid natin yan. Kaya kailangan ng kapulisan, kailangan ng mga tanod, no? kailangan ng mga CCTV. Uh, yan ay mga involved sa common good. Where can one find the most complete realization of the common good? The most complete realization of the common good is found in those political communities which defend and promote the good of their citizens and of intermediate groups without forgetting the universal good of the entire human family. So, ang common good ay ang doon sa mga political communities no, na dinidefend, pinaprotektahan, pinagtatanggol ang kabutihan ng mga mamamayan at pinapropote ang kabutihan ng mamamayan at mga intermediate groups. No, at hindi nakakalimutan yung universal good of the entire human family. Lagi natin tatandaan, hindi lang danaili, hindi lang sirit ang, ang political communities. Merong abulog, merong kagayan, merong Pilipinas, merong entire world. So, kung anong nangyayari sa Pilipinas ay may epekto ito sa mga ibang bansa because we belong in the same planet Earth. How does one participate in bringing about the common good? All men and women, according to the place and role that they occupy, participate in promoting the common good by first Respecting just laws. So, igalang natin ang mga just laws, tulad ng mga protocols no, ngayong pandemic. No, I-respeto natin yan. We are contributing to the common good as great world learners. Pangalawa, taking charge of the area for which they have responsibility, such as the care of their own family, and commitment to their own work. <coughs> so, kayong mga great world learners, kapag nag-aaral ka ng mabuti, kayo ay nakocontribute sa common good. And also, if you are, if you are nagiging mabuting anak kayo, sa inyong mga magulang, you are also contributing to the common good. Citizens also should take an active part in public life as far as possible. Okay? So, kung may pagkakataon kayo in the future, natatakbo na SK chairman, okay, or uh, barangay captain, or politicians in 5 to 10 years, no, do it no, if you have that passion. Okay. Now we have go to the third part, social justice. So mayroong apat na klase ng justice, commutative justice. Second ay uh, distributive justice, third ay legal justice, and fourth is social justice. Ang commutative, commutative, commutative justice ay justice between individuals, individual to individual. Ang distributive justice is justice between the government and individuals. Ang legal justice is justice between individuals to the government. So, yan ang relationship. No? Ang commutative, dalawang individual. For example, may imutang ako sa'yo, may kontrata tayo, ganyan. So, ang distributive justice ang gobyerno sa individual. For example, ito yung ayuda. So, yan ibababa. Okay? And all legal justice ang individual sa gobyerno. Magbahay ng tax, mag-observe uh, ng mga laws. 
And now, pang-apat ay social justice. No? Combination ng mga tatlo ay, dap, ay andun para magkaroon ng social justice. How does society ensure social justice? Social, society ensures social justice when it respects the dignity and the rights of the person as the proper end of society itself. So, yan. No? Ipag-ginagalang ang dignidad at karapatan ng mga tao. Furthermore, society pursues social justice which is linked to the common good and to the exercise of authority when it provides the conditions that allow associations and individuals to obtain what is their due. So, kapag inaallow ang mga asosasyon at ang mga individual na magunudda ti what is due kung anong nararapat sa kanila. Now, for example, by social justice, kapag kayo ay kaya ninyong mag-aral, no? mayroong social justice. On what is human equality based, all persons enjoy equal dignity and fundamental rights insofar as they are created in the image of the one God. So, lahat tayo, pantay, pantay, boy, girl, tamboy, bakla, LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, we are all equal because we are all created in the image of God. We are endowed with the same rational soul. Lahat tayo may kaluluwa. Ikaw man ay, ay tao hindi, mayroon ka rin kaluluwa. Have the same nature, lahat tayo ay tao. Bakit hindi ba tao mga bakla? Hindi ba tao mga aitas? Lahat tayo tao at we have all origin. Lahat tayo ay galing sa Diyos and are called in Christ, the one and only Savior, to the same divine beatitude. Lahat tayo, hindi lang mga mayayaman ang tinawag ng Panginoon, kahit may hirap, lahat tayo ay tinawag para makapasok sa langit. How are we to view social inequalities? Siyempre, may mga hindi pantay-pantay, so paano yan? There are sinful social and economic inequalities which affect millions of human beings. These inequalities are in open contradiction to the gospel and are contrary to justice, to the dignity of persons and to peace. There are, however, differences among people caused by various factors which enter into the plan of God. Indeed, God wills that it might receive what he or she needs from others and that those endowed with particular talents should share them with others. So, ba, gusto ng Diyos na makukuha natin kung anong kailangan natin at kung meron tayong mga talents, i-share natin para sa iba. Such differences encourage and often oblige people to the practice of generosity. May pakakaiba tayo. Generosity, kindness, and the sharing of goods. Ito ang antidote panlaban sa mga hindi pagpapantay-pantay. Ang generosity, kindness, and sharing of goods. They also foster the mutual enrichment of cultures. How is human social solidarity manifested? Ito ang importante yung principle of solidarity. Ano ang tututuan natin ngayon? Principle of subsidiarity, principle of the common good, justice, uh, social justice, authority, and also human solidarity. Solidarity which springs from human and Christian brotherhood. Solidarity, lakat magtulungan tayo, okay, magdamayan tayo, Kasi lahat tayo ay magkakapatid. Lahat tayo ay tao, lalong-lalong tayo mga Kristiyano. Lalong-lalong na tayo mga Katoliko. is manifested in the first place by the just distribution of goods. No? By a fair remuneration for work, pangalawa. And by zeal for a more just social order. The virtue of solidarity also practices the sharing of the spiritual goods of faith. is even more important than sharing material goods. So yan po. So, yan ang uh, NX, virtual class ko kanina sa mga hindi nakasali or sa mga nakasali sa virtual class pero gusto pa ninyo maintindihan, balikan ang, uh, ang aking explanation. So, this is it. Thank you very much and uh, God bless.